I am getting ready to trim Evie's feet. We're getting ready for Texas, so that means we gotta get her little tootsies in shape. Um, now her, I do run all my horses barefoot. Um, so it makes it super, super convenient uh, to just trim all my own instead of having to have someone else do it for me. But I need to go grab her and bring her in the barn. Right now I have her tied to the round pin because she was being a little bit of a pill this morning. So she got a little bit of a timeout session. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead, grab her, and we're going to get her feet trimmed. Hello, Evie. How are you? You ready to get your feet trimmed? Oh, yes. A little Miss Impatient. Ready to get your feet done. All right, so as you can see, her toes are a little long, this one especially, um, but this foot, she has a bit of a flare right through here. And the reason for that is because the way she stands, she stands with this foot forward when she grazes. This foot goes forward, this foot goes back, and she's standing with her toe and putting all that pressure right here on that toe. So we're going to, I'll probably start on that foot first. I always kind of like to do that anyway. Start on that foot first, work on it. And then I always do the front feet first. So that if anything ever happens, you know, um, they're at least balanced on the front instead of doing, you know, front and then back and then back and then front. I just like to do front first and then the back. But, whoops. As you can see right here, as I was saying, that flare right there. Her heels are pretty even. Um, everything looks like it's wearing pretty even here. So I don't want to change any of that. All I want to do is just kind of trim it back. Um, <clears throat> Cause she is sound. I know this is not like an ideal foot, but she does run fairly successfully on this foot. So yes, madam. So we're just going to trim it back. I'm not going to take any sole away. Um, I may trim her bars back just a little bit, but anyway. Yeah. Let's get to it. Alright. Stop. I don't... Stop. I don't necessarily like to use the nippers quite as much as a lot of farriers. Um, like her feet, yeah, I could get done faster using the nippers, especially for this area right here, but you have a little bit more control with your grass than you do with nippers. So anyone who's just starting out, you know, go ahead and use your nipper or your uh, rasp more than your nippers because that's going to save you a lot of heartache. Because you can't put material back, you just gotta let it grow. You gotta let it grow back. As you can see, I'll try to help you see it here, but you've got that flare right there from putting all that weight on that corner. Now, a lot of that has to do with the fact that I was not able to keep her feet trimmed the way I wanted to um, when I was working at Amazon. I didn't have the time for it, and that made me very upset. <laughs> so, I've been being very diligent here lately and trying to make sure that her feet are where they should be. Especially now that I'm getting ready to go to Texas. So, one place I will use the nippers. Trim her toe back some. Especially on that little flare. Oh, Evie. You're doing so good. Uh, please don't step on my camera. Okay. Try to make this hoof wall the same dis or the same width all the way around. I may go ahead and shave off a little bit more on that flare. She goes to walk, we're not putting any extra stress. Now, I will say, Evie, this flare used to be much worse. It's gotten a lot better, especially now that she's in work. Like, you'll be amazed, even not having shoes on, you know, that blood flow gets to their foot when they're barefoot and they heal so much faster in many ways. And that's why 
I like to keep them barefoot. And you better. Okay. I'm just gonna round this. Okay, she does have a pretty good little foot. It's just a flare. It's growing out pretty nice. It's about right here. Right here is where the flare stops. So, the next few trim cycles, hopefully we can get, get that little bitty flare under control. And you'll have a very pretty foot. I am that perfectionist. Okay, there you go. All right, so another thing I really like to use is hoof armor. Um, now she does have really good feet and I didn't pair any of that sole away, but I just wanna be a little bit more safe than sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put this hoof armor on her. Uh, it's not gonna hurt her to have it on because all this does, um, if you've got like a horse that has a thin sole, even if they have shoes on, you wanna give them a little bit more protection. This just creates a thin barrier over the sole. So it's kind of like, uh, an extra skin or an extra sole that just helps protect it. And if you got a horse as thin soles or tender soles, um, this is really good. It also helps um, to thicken that sole as well. It helps build more sole material. You wanna make sure your surface is clean. Let me go ahead and scrape some of this away. Now, the reason I'm not trimming this here, that is a callus, I'm not touching that. We're going to leave it. If I trim it, it will more than likely make her a little bit tender. We don't want that. We want her to stay nice and sound because she's already super sound on the rocks, super sound everywhere we go. So we want it to stay like that. So how we do this, this normally comes with a little um, nozzle on the top. I don't know where it's at. <laughs> so we're just going to, going to use this the way it is. You just put little little drops. It is much more, much more effective. Ooh, eBay, stop. When you only use a few drops. But there, and then what you do, use baby powder. I just have wine. Just cover it. Voila, that foot is done. It already looks so much prettier. Her angle is a lot better. She's got good heel height. I'm gonna try to see if I can't show you a flare at all, but yeah, she's got just a little bit of a flare there. That will go away as long as we keep that toe trimmed back. So now we're gonna go on to her good foot. This is her good foot. Her toe is just a little long, uh, but it's super easy to get trimmed back. A um, lot more <laughs> not more balanced surface on this foot versus this foot, but she does have pretty little feet. And even though they're white, she is sound on the rocks. And a lot of that has to do with her diet growing up and um, getting plenty of movement, getting good trims, not as frequent as, of course, I wanted to, as I said, but she does have pretty good feet for, for being a, a white-footed horse. Her feet do grow pretty quick. That is one thing about my horses is that their feet do grow <laughs> Very fast. Same with the other foot. Take just a little bit of that protruding bar out of there. Leave the rest. How am I tools way over here? Why did you move? Her front feet are done. This looks a lot better. She's not really standing on even, even mats, so. And she's not standing where she should be. But that is a much better foot than it was when we first started. Now we get to do her back feet. He will survive. If 
you like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Uh, I still have Rip coughing over there. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe. I hope I've earned your subscription today. I do have more horses that I need to trim, but I also gotta move my cows first. They're starting to have babies now. We've got like five babies on the ground. <laughs> Little Miss Impatient. I'll see y'all in the next video, and uh, until then, work hard, stay misfits.